that. All right, everybody, welcome back to our video. It's been such a long time for us to make a video, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about a project that I've been working on, and it is for Game of Thrones, uh, the TV show on HBO. And what I've been doing for the past few years is some original art on cards. All right, so we're back again. I'm here with Sophia. Sophia, can you say hello? Hello. Good. And uh, we're just going to talk about what I'm doing there. And uh, I'm working on drawing a ship. So I've done artwork for the past few years for HBO Game of Thrones, which is a card set that is distributed by Rittenhouse Archives. I will put a link below in how you can access some of those cards. But they're basically like little trading cards, baseball card size things. And if you open a box, you'll get a bunch of photos and scenes from the show and characters. Maybe you'll be lucky and get an autograph from somebody who is in the TV show. And if you're really lucky, a really rare item is to get an original piece of artwork, which one of them you could see me drawing on right here with some colored pencils. Uh, those are extremely rare and they're worth quite a bit of money. You can see these things sell on eBay after the um, shows come out. And I've seen single cards sell for in the thousands of dollars. And I've seen cards in several different countries. Um, another thing that I wanted to do, a little artist tip here. So if you are an artist and you're interested in um, doing some work like this, one of the things I discovered that you just saw pop up there is acrylic gesso but it's clear acry acrylic gesso so it's not white so basically what you could do is a preliminary drawing and then coat the drawing with clear gesso and then paint over it pretty cool right so yeah that way you can kind of like trace over your own preliminary drawing and not have to do everything from scratch and then coming up here i'm using a little bit of pro white this is another artist tip for those of you that are looking to uh bring your work to the next level i found that pro white is a really good product to work with because it covers everything. It's very opaque. Uh, this one, so can you tell what that's going to be as I'm working on it? Um, a green with red um, wings dragon. It's a dragon, you're right. Uh, it's a dragon and it's flying over a city. Mm. Um, using Prismacolor and uh, Prismacolor pencils, which we've talked about on this channel before, uh, the ones that we baked in the oven so that they didn't crack. Did you know that we did that with those colored pencils? <coughs> no, I'm serious. We really did. Uh, yeah, we did? Yeah, we baked them in the oven so that they don't fracture. And we have a video on that you can check out on my channel yeah, uh, on yeah. baking your pencils. Yeah, that sounds yeah. silly, doesn't it? Did you have it on that TV back? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. On our, it's on our channel. I, I never saw my wife, so can I watch it? You, yeah, we could watch it. I don't think you're in that one, though, so it's not as good as our other ones. Yeah. But uh, moving along here, drawing on this card, uh, you can see I'm increasing the contrast and I'm going in and getting progressively more detailed as I work through it. Um, one of the things that I also wanted to stress in this is my process on the cards is that I'll do a drawing, I'll coat that drawing with clear gesso, I'll wait for the gesso to dry, which creates a barrier that I can paint over, and then part of the video, or part of the process that we didn't record was that I'll actually use acrylic paint. I'll do some washes over it with acrylic paint. And then once that paint dries, I will go ahead and um, add Prismacolor over that. And I will also go in with ink. You could see um, part of this is adding some really rich blacks by putting ink in there in detail. And then the pro white is what will pop the final highlights. So it's all part of the process. Do you have any questions so far? Sophia? Uh, I have one question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, what is the white stuff? The white stuff is called pro white, and it's like a white liquidy paint that you see where I'm painting it. It makes it really nice and bright white. Uh. Okay. And um, soon here we're going to show the finished dragon piece. Look at, look at that, how that one turned out. Did you like it? Flying over the... Oh, applause. Uh, these are going to be a couple of quick ones here. I did a map and then I did a landscape uh, from the show. 
Another thing about the working on the trading cards is you can't draw any people. You can't draw or paint any people. And the oh. standards for these cards is very high. Um, so they will actually not accept cards that they think are not good. And you can't put any people. All you could do is the landscape photos, the props, the things that were computer generated that aren't real. But you can't draw any of the people in the show, which is kind of a bummer, isn't it? That's a little bit of a bummer. So there's a map, and here is a landscape. Some cool waterfalls. Any other questions so far? Uh, yes, I have one question. Okay, go ahead. Let me hear it. Uh, I, what, what's that thing? That is the throne room. Uh, but wait, who is in the throne? The Mad King. He's called the Mad King because he's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that's the Mad King in the throne room. And I'm actually, this was my return card. So the other part of this is for every 15 cards that I paint that are approved, I get one back. And the one that I get back, I can sell myself or I can keep it. And this was the card that I got back and I actually sold it to a client who lives in the UK. Do you know where the UK is? It's across the pond across the pond uh england you, mean, you know where england is right yeah in the country so that was shipped wait, to the it, uk is mm -hmm. it england new york new york yeah no it's new york is in the united states the <gasps> uk is united kingdom so i finished this one and shipped it off to him you're going to see the uh finished thing come out pretty soon but with the return cards that's the way that you can make some money uh, on this project because uh, the individual cards you get paid very little for um, the original pieces but when you get that one return card you can sell it for quite a bit more right if your work is in demand so um, yeah that's basically it yeah. and if you yeah I'm I'm ready go ahead is this show the show is almost over yeah we're this is the last card we're gonna take a look at and you can see I'm um, kind of flying through it and fast forward. Why did you have any other questions? Yep. Oh, oh wait. I also wanted to say that I'm going to be making a uh, an original oil painting of this exact scene with the Mad King on the Iron Throne and I'm going to have prints available of that oil painting too. So, that's coming up if you stuck in there and hung in there till the end of the video and listened to the clock ticking, the Sophia clock. What was your question? I'm ready because we're almost out of time. You you don't have. Oh yeah. Yeah. Go okay. ahead. Hurry, so hurry, hurry. Go. It is. Okay. That one. What's that? What's I, that? I, oh. The throne room. With no, the I didn't say that. That. What? That. Oh, the stuff in the studio. Oh, here's the finished one. Check <laughs> it out. What did you? It turned out pretty good, didn't it? Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Like, there's like a little button that they. Like, Put on the laptop or something, and then they say click it, and then you can never even miss a video. Hmm. That's if you subscribe.